So why atomics? Well, if you think about an operation such as x++, for example, this is what's called a read, modify, and write operation. And the reason for that is that, first of all, we have to read x into a register, then we have to modify that register, so increment it in this case, and then we need to write the register back into x. So effectively, we get this kind of evaluation. And this is fine in a single-threaded scenario. But when it comes to CUDA, so if two threads do x++, for example, we get a bit of an ambiguity because, well, each thread gets its own temporary variable to store the uh, the value x to, and then they both do the same thing. And if these two uh, if these two sequences of execution overlap, then we get what's called a race condition. Essentially, the thread that writes to x first kind of wins. Of course, the thread that writes second can then overwrite the value. So essentially, we we have a bit of a problem because whoever wins x gets incremented only once, and uh, that's something that we want to try to avoid.